o'clock. All right, Ray. Well, we've been talking about the new COVID variant that was first discovered in the UK, but has been found in several states here in the U.S. just in the recent days. Yeah, well, now a team of researchers at Southern Illinois University discovered a new variant that is specific and dominant here in the United States. Keith Gagnon is the lead researcher and joins us now with more on this uh, brand new information. Doctor, this is fascinating and troubling. As I read here, uh, I guess it showed up in Texas. It's now prevalent in the upper Midwest. Um, what do we need to know about this strain that appears to be so dominant here in the United States? Well, it's been here for um for months and uh, largely un unpronounced to us. It's been circulating around the US for a long time. Um, it's very different than the UK variants or other variants. It has very different mutations. Um, uh, however, it has been acquiring more recently mutations in the spike protein. Um, we've noticed two more recent spike protein mutations and now the spike protein, as you know, is important for uh, gaining entry into the cell. So, um, and also for uh, antibody binding and vaccine development. And in addition, uh, you may know an Ohio group uh, announced that they had found something and it appears to be really um, uh, a smaller subset or variant within our 20 CUS variant. Uh, and one in particular has acquired an, an additional spike protein mutation. So I think that underscores what we're finding and it really confirms uh, what we predicted that this is acquiring a lot of new mutations. Um, and we need to keep a close eye on it. Uh, I would also add that, you know, this is definitely from what we can tell uh, something that arose in the southern U.S. We can trace it as far back as Texas in May, and it has been mostly confined to the U.S., but the scary thing is it has really largely overtaken um, all the other variants in the U.S. We predict it to be probably the most dominant variant, um, and so a way to put that in perspective is probably one out of every two people with a COVID virus uh, or COVID-19 uh, have this variant or some derivative of it. Uh, so, again, need to watch this closely. Um, so that's yeah. kind of, in a nutshell, some of what we found. Very interesting. You know, you talk about all these different variants, and I guess the next question for many of us would be, we hear about the vaccines, the Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna vaccine. Are you worried that perhaps those may not work on this different strain that you're looking at? Well, this new variant's been around for a while, and uh, one of the reasons why we think it flew under the radar is because mutations in the spike protein, uh, that sort of calling card for that raises the red flag, were not one of its initial mutation events. And so um, that being said, it, it appears that it probably the vast majority of this variant would respond well to the vaccine, mm -hmm. uh, from what we can tell. As I mentioned, it's acquiring some new mutations. Um, we actually just have some new information. Uh, we've observed a new mutation in the spike protein that's in a place where antibodies can bind. This is not something we had in our initial report and we'll be updating that report uh, shortly. And so I think we're still learning new things about this variant. We are seeing it evolve or change almost in real time. And this mm -hmm. is extremely important for us to make sure we respond quickly. You know, just out complete curiosity here, how many variants are there out there right now? I mean, we hear about the one in the UK, we hear about this here, um, but those are really the main two that we're focused on. Uh, do you have an idea of, of what we're looking at? So to correct, uh, variants can be a sing as much as a simple single uh, nucleotide mutation in the entire genome, and that could be considered a genetic variant. Uh, thousands of those all over the world. Uh, the variant we're talking about, though, is something a little different. It's 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 acquired several mutations that now make it quite distinct from its parent or original uh, virus. So um, that's sort of the variants that we're talking about and that are of the concern. Mm -hmm. The UK variant acquired a large number of mutations and um, very quickly, a lot of them in the spike protein. And so we want to look out for viruses that accumulate a lot of mutations quickly uh, and that are in places that we're worried about, like the spike protein. Well, we want to commend you for your work in discovering this, uh, Dr. Gagnon, and we appreciate your time there at Southern Illinois. Take care. Thank you.